Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm diving into President Biden's recent statement opposing Israeli airstrikes on Iranian nuclear sites. Yep, you heard that right. In a situation that's already tense, Biden has urged Israel to take a more measured approach. This comes right after an Iranian missile attack on Israel, an attack the U.S. had prior warning about. Biden acknowledges Israel's right to defend itself, but he's all about keeping the response, well, let's say proportionate. So, what's the deal? Biden's stance is part of a larger effort to de-escalate tensions and explore other measures like slapping more sanctions on Tehran. The goal here is to prevent this conflict from spiraling out of control and maintain some much-needed stability in the region. The U.S. views the Iranian missile attack as a serious issue, but thanks to the defense systems of the U.S. and Israel, many of those missiles were intercepted. So, while it's a big deal, it didn't cause the damage Iran might have hoped for. This whole thing is part of a long-standing feud between Israel and Hezbollah, Iran's powerful proxy. Things took a darker turn recently with the death of Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah in an Israeli strike. This has only made the situation more volatile with everyone worried about a broader conflict. Former President Trump, never one to stay quiet, has slammed the Biden administration's handling of the situation. At a recent rally, Trump blamed Biden and Harris for what he calls weak leadership, saying it's emboldened Iran and brought us closer to disaster. Trump's all about a more forceful response contrasting his approach with Biden's focus on de-escalation and diplomacy. Despite the criticisms, Biden's team insists they're doing the right thing, pointing to the successful interception of those missiles as a win. They're sticking to their guns, figuratively speaking, emphasizing diplomacy and continued support for Israel's self-defense. So, what do you think? Is Biden's approach the right way to go, or does Trump have a point? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates. See you next time.